Hello everyone, I am Peter Okibukola and I welcome you to another session of our training program on the development and use of management dashboard for academic planning. So what will I be serving you today, June the 17th, 2022? I'll be giving you a guide on how you can share your dashboard to the world, to your vice chancellor, your dean of faculty, head of department, or whoever you wish to share your dashboard with. So let's begin. Oh yes, so we'll begin. Uh, we're looking at guide to development and publishing of management dashboard for academic planning. In the previous lessons, which uh, engineer Damilo Bamiro, Bamiro walked us through, we looked at how we collect the data from the different faculties and elsewhere, uh, how we validate the data, and how we set up the dashboard. But if you noticed, we we're only doing this in a Microsoft Excel environment. In this lesson, we are going to implement the same thing using the Google environment. Might not pronounce this. I did say Google, as some people will want to pronounce it. As you can see, there are two O's, so it is Google, not Google. Uh, so all you need, by the way, that to get into that environment is to have like a Gmail account, and that will give you access to very many free Google resources. So there are two resources that you will need in your Google in the Google Drive. We we'll need the Google Sheets. That's the version of Google for Excel. You know, competition. You know that uh, Microsoft done Excel. Google has done Google Sheets. Then Google site. This is a free website for publishing your dashboard. There are just four easy steps. Step one is for you to import your data to Google Drive. Step two is for you to set up a dashboard in Google Sheets. Step three is for you to link your dashboard to the website in Google Sites. And then step four is for you to publish the dashboard for the world. You can see I say the world. It can be your dean, your faculty, as I said in the introduction, uh, the, uh, the dean of faculty or the vice chancellor, or anybody that you want to see your dashboard because there's no point in doing a dashboard and putting it under the table. You want people to see, and that's what the thing is. You think I'm here to just give you theory? No, 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 no. Practicals, practicals, practicals. So let's see how it is done practically. The first step is importing your data to Google Drive. So how do we do that? So let's check that out. Please follow this guide and we'll see how easy it is. You know, I said four easy steps. So let's see. As I stated earlier, you can get access to all the rich Google resources by having a Google account. And to have one, an easy way, just set up your Gmail. So if you have Gmail, just look at about here. You find some nine dots three, like here. Look at here. So you can see Google Apps. Those are the apps that you have in Google, plenty of them. Uh, you can see Maps, Play, Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Translate, Photos, News, all the rest, Google Meet. They are wonderful, wonderful assets, that resources that you need. But the one we're going to is this, Google Drive. Google Drive is where we are going to put your data. And in Google Drive, let's see what, I, see what uh, is coming up. So I'm in my Google Drive now, and in my Google Drive, you have all of this. So if you if you want to set up something new, uh, a new, uh, a new a new material something for entering your data, you can see Google Docs, Google Sheets. You know I mentioned to you we're going to need this one: Google Sheets, Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms. Uh, if you say more, Google Drawings, Google the lot the lot that you can see at Google Site. We're going to be needing that too. Uh, so that's how you have a window into the wonderful resources of Google. But let's do that first step, how you import your data. I'm starting from the very early steps. You know, I gave you this table and you import it to Excel. You can actually take this table straight to Google Sheets, but I'm going to do it the way you've done it before. You know, in practicals number four, you submitted your Excel sheet with all the donut. Hey, beautiful. Can, I can even smell the aroma of the donut graphs that you did. 
but so what i'm going to do just start from the beginning this is a microsoft word document which i'm going to take to excel to follow what you did before but as i said you can take this directly to google sheets because google sheets is the equivalent of microsoft excel so how do we do i've done Control c i've copied this i will go to excel let me check out my excel and uh, paste it there so this is excel uh let me get a new sheet and i do paste so you can see it's here it's here already hmm. wonderful so let me save this uh i like to save it as okay book color yeah peter uh one all right so that's what we have um that's this file wonderful uh, i will then need to get this to uh, google sheet just uh, see how that is done uh so you can see this is where i save the file okay voila peter one uh to be able to get it into google drive you know we're importing into google drive and google drive will open it up with google sheet what we'll do is uh you can just uh, drag this one there but the better way to do it is to go to new that is you go to google drive uh, you want to ask me i go to google drive i can see one or two hands up uh, from your from this that's from your gmail account you see this uh, nine dots so you click on it you can see drive there google drive so that's what you click on and it comes up with is the same thing that i showed you that i showed earlier then what's next next is uh, you click on new and you can see folder can you see file upload can you see folder down upload what do you think we should do we want to upload a folder a file excuse me so google drive will ask you gentleman or gentlewoman ah, is there a word like that of course we have several gentle women in our class so where, where where's the file that you want me to upload they have to search for it you know this is the one so you just click on this double click on it or you click here open whichever one suits you so let's just we can see uploading one item starting upload you can see one upload complete and uh, aye, where is the upload you cannot see it but you see if you refresh refresh here if you reload the page you are going to see the file okay Bukola peter one xlx is now here step one completed i told you this is easy four easy steps so we have done the first one which is we have uploaded the, uh, the 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 data to google drive and it's now if i click on this you're going to see what's going to happen now it is opening you can see it's opening google sheets google sheets not no more in excel uh, you know this competition as i said the microsoft people have their own the google people uh, have their own so this is the thing in google sheets so we have done step number one so as we can see step one is done we've imported our data to google drive step two is to set up a dashboard in google sheets so that's what we're going to do right now it's also an easy step the first thing i think we should do is to knock off this grand total because the grand total may have been computed correctly or may have not been. So, because we want Google Sheets to do its own thing, do your thing, man. So, let's clear that rule. So, that's done. Uh, no, no, let's delete it completely. Yeah, I, I think it's good to go do this delete rule. Yeah, we've deleted the rule. So, we're going to have our own grand total. We'll just say total there. We we'll just say total, and they will take the totals here. And as you know, as uh, Jina Bamiro taught us, uh, we take this all the way down. Yeah, uh, that's doing it the we like the the crude way. So let's take it up like this. Yeah, up to here. 
uh, yes let's see we then go to yeah so we have the entire column highlighted and then we go to this this is uh, functions you can see it on the right now huh? you see it. so what are we going to do to take the total we just hit sum and it gives us the total here uh, to get for the others rather than go up and down up and down up and down if you just drag this drag this all the way down let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah you can see that's giving us all the totals there so that is uh, step one uh, step 2a if you like shit sorry my mouse is doing it so we can see add sheet we add a sheet and this sheet we're going to right click and rename it we're going to call it dashboard so this sheet is a dashboard and what you're going to do is to move this sheet here because we want it to be the first uh, to be encountered uh, I'm, uh, i'd like to acknowledge uh, dr adewa additional you know for giving this guy this wonderful guide so this is a uh, dashboard sheet now this is a sheet for the data data sheet so let's get on the dashboard and uh, we we'll begin with a hundred with a hundred level let's say put a hundred level and uh, we have it as we want to start building the dashboard from the to the totals that we got there so this will be male uh, this is female. So what about the male? Where do we put this data? You are not just going to copy. <laughs> this one is, uh, let me be sure of it. This one is male. Yes, that's it, the first one. That's uh, male. And the second one is female. Uh, it's not for you, as I was saying, to just copy this 3572382 to here and the one for female to hear what you need to do is let them be referencing themselves so that would tie it's just like a string a rope that is tying everything together from the sheet to the dashboard to whatever so what you're going to do here you say equal to you did that before in excel equal to equal to what you are not typing anything you are just going back to the sheet and uh, you get onto here 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 and uh, you hit enter you hit enter you can see it has Put this data here and it's referencing it from this sheet now let's go to the female what do i do hmm. you go to equal to and then get back to your sheet and then you come here and you hit enter and it pulls the data there as simple as that so let's do 100 level let's plot the uh let's do the dashboard uh, so the way it goes is you will uh, uh just give me a second yeah, I, I had to take some uh, little time off to go and buy the dough for a flour, the flour for a donut. Yeah, so let's plot this. Uh, we select uh, the male, female, that's 100 level. And we will go to insert, just like we did. You can see chart. And it comes with this chart. It comes default with this. That's converted into percentage. If it does not, don't worry, we're going to do that. But this is not what we want. I bought, the, I bought the flour for making donut, not to make this uh, cake. So uh, what do you need to do is to go to pie chart, look at here, chart type, uh, drop down here, and then move down, 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 down. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking for, donut chart. Yeah, that's it. You can see that's turned into a donut. Uh, what then do you want to do? We want to put the percentages here. And you can then do that by going to customize. We're going to customize this thing. Customize pie chart. And the donut hole, that's this one, is 50%. Let's make it 75%. I mean, it's going to be bigger, bigger donut hole. Yes, that's it. Border color, we don't need that. Slice label. The label, we need percentages. So we're going to put percentage here. So see what I've done? I've selected percentage. Can you see that? I've put the percentages there. 55.9 here. But if 5.9 is black, let's make it, uh, let's change the color uh, to white. So text color, we'll make it white. That's the one here. And it's done this one. We can do the second one too. Text color uh, white. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you can make it uh, bigger. Hmm, if you hold on to this, 
we go back to you can see back to customize you can take it take it back there uh font size let's say 14. okay that's fine uh, so we're doing well so this is the donut now this is too big for this page for the 100 level because i'm going to put the 600 level uh, donuts here because if we resize see, see it now if we resize 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 yes this size is good but the uh the the data are gone here for male and the female although you can still retain this one 55 percent male and all of that but i want it to be here so you know it's already there maybe you don't so but to show that the data are there we can make the do not to smaller so it's now well it's still not showing but if you drag this out like this you see the, you can see the, the this is already there so let's keep dragging until we don't no longer see it yeah okay let's keep it like this this looks good so that's 100 level so let's do 200 level here 200 level the same thing we have mail excuse me we have mail we have female so what do we do here oh you got it it's equal to it's equal to what go back to the sheet i will come here this is the data we want so you hit enter here it has put it there female you put is equal to you come back to your sheet and they says it and you hit enter so that is fine there and uh, we will go on to plot the donut to plot it donut graph is the same you highlight this come with it like this and then we say insert insert what chart chart will give us this by default we'll let's uh, customize it we'll go to pie chart oh by the way let's still keep uh, with the setup uh, the type of pie chart 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 type we go for do not here we go so it's change it then we'll customize it customize um let's keep the, the whole because we kept that one at 50 percent slice label what should we do here uh -huh. you got it percentage yeah so percentage is there we can uh, format this it has given us uh, this color um, giving us this as color peak so that's it uh for this the same text color that wonderful uh you can do whatever modification you want to do here this the the chart is big so we'll resize like this uh so you can see this one is covering the this one is covering this so let's move it here let's ensure that they are all properly all properly aligned uh, let's see what this one is moving like yeah like this so we have 100 level we can make some uh, improve the uh, let's see the was it bold uh, well we can select all of it like we are bold and then let's make the color color whatever you like let's say red yeah so 200 level the same bold and uh, red uh, you can format this as uh, you like so you have 100 level 200 level so let me do 300 level here uh, maybe close to it after this i'll just do the rest of the background and then uh what should i have here you know you got it female you got it so what should i have here is equal to is equal to what you come back to the sheet uh this 100 this 200 this 300 so here i hit enter it gives the data this thing as i said is as easy as a b c so this is the one I hit enter it did oh no, no sorry I, i've done control z to undo what i have there so it's uh the next figure is equal to uh go back to the sheet that's this one let's see one two three that's this one yes so hit enter that's this one for 300 level 300 level let's uh let's uh style you two like the rest so we have it as red here 
Yes, you can do whatever to make this thing look as nice as uh, you want it to be. So, plotting our graph, you highlight this. We go to insert. Uh, we go to chart. It gives us that as default. Uh, we go to still within setup. You go to part, this one. You select pie chart. Uh, this pie, and then sorry, do not, do not. Ah, the aroma of the do not is uh, making me water my mouth to water. You go to pie chart. Let's keep the do not hold this one here as fifty percent. The label. Let's put it as a percentage, so it has. Put, it, it will not have this. Uh, so it's giving us this to color if you want to color as white you want to be bold whatever the font size oh we actually change the font size of that one to be 14 so you can be making your modifications uh, as you go along with bold uh, this one the same uh, font size let's take it 14 make it bold and then text color is uh, white so that's it but oh gentlemen you are too big oh we have to resize you, resize you, resize you. Let's move you to this place. Mm -hmm -hmm. That is it. Move you to this place and to be about the same size as the others. So we have uh, 100 level, 200 level, 300 level. I'll just do only 400 level uh, for the purpose of this uh, exercise. And then you can do the rest for the 600 level. But I'm going to do that at the background. Yeah, as you can see, I've done 400 level. Uh, you have to do up to 600 level. Uh, you can actually arrange 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, depending on how you want it. But I can see 100 level, 200 level, and the rest that we have here. You can, you know, make all manner of uh, uh, coloration with what you have here. You can change the colors of uh, the background or anything, so long as it suits. It suits you. So we have done this. We have uh, constructed or developed a dashboard in Google Sheet. So what's next? So what's next after uh, step two? You know, step two is setting up a dashboard in Google Sheets, which we have done. So our step three or four is for us to link a dashboard to our website. Uh -uh. Where's that website coming from now? Okay, well, the website we're going to set up in Google Sites. Google Sites. This way it gets very, very interesting. So let's see how we will link a dashboard to a Google Site. To establish that link, hey, we've got to share. We've got to share this. And you come to here, share. When you click on share, it loads a dialog box which asks you. Hmm. How do you want it done? You want to general access restricted, so let's drop, let's do this drop down, and let's put anyone with a link, because we are going to assess you based on that link. We are going to send that link to us for assessment. You can see it's sharing. Okay, we call that Peter one. So anyone with a link can view. Now we're going to come to anyone with a link that you have sent can be an editor. You know, the data are dynamic. Some data coming from Faculty of Arts, from Engineering, from the Vice Chancellor's Office, from the different places. So you need to give people access to be able to edit the data. But we're not there yet. Let's just do view alone for this time around. Okay, fine. So we said viewer. Anyone with the link can view. So where's the link? So just click on here, copy the link. Now the link is copied to your clipboard so we're now going to go to our website to google site and then put this link here and let's see how things go, how things go as i said this is where it gets very very interesting did you ask how you're going to get to the google site hmm easy just type google in google and put site there and then what can you find google site sign in all of this create your google your 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 site all of that all of that so let's go on to google site sign in uh, yeah because you already you already have a google account so you just come to this so when you have this what should you do is telling you you can choose a website of different designs these are some 
can I suggest that you take on this one uh, project? You can you can explore with the others. So let me repeat what we have done. We went to Google uh, and we did uh, Google Sites and it came up with this was Google Sites sign in because you're already in your Gmail account. We will we'll lead you into this one and then you have blank project portfolio and the rest. So let's let's try with this one, this project. And it comes up with this. It's loading. So we have this project project name, a one line a one line description. So you can just say uh, it uh, okay we'll call a management dashboard. And you can just put uh, this management dashboard to clean up this whole thing. This management dashboard is uh, for academic planning in uh, whatever, whatever you want it, your university. So that's done. Uh, you can change the image. Anyway, we'll come to the changing the image. Uh, you come to changing so many of these things sir. so easy so project mission you can write something here i leave that to you uh when you are submitting your assignment you, you just get, get us something quite nice here let's look at this one effort one uh, you can change this image you can change all the images here and make this thing look quite quite nice you can put your email id and all that so we'll come to that so let's look at this you can say here uh, Dashboard or enrollment. Well, no, let, let's leave the, this thing there. The description of this. So we can say uh, this is the dashboard. My <laughs> my keyboard is very noisy, but just tolerate me. This is the dashboard for hundred uh, to six hundred. Okay, so we've got that one there. Dashboard and Roman, this is dashboard for for uh, enrollment. Okay. Yeah, right, so <laughs> where's the dashboard now? So <laughs> what you do is you select all of this. You know we have copied the link from there. What can you see here? You can see you can see insert link, insert link. So you click on this, and it's asking you for the link. I've copied the link. So if you just say paste, Control V will paste it. That is the link. So you say apply uh, dashboard on enrollment. This is the dashboard for hundred level enrollment. Let me do the same thing here. So you see how how uh, how uh, I've done that link. They say dashboard. You can call it dashboard one. Okay, and then you highlight this completely. Mind you, you have copied the uh, you, you've copied the link from your other sheet. Let, let's go back to it and see. Yeah, so, so this is the thing. You know, we did share here, and we came to here. We say viewer. So we had everything all set up here. So you just say this link. This is the link we copied, and we're taking to this. Taking to this. So here you highlight the whole thing like this, and you can see this chain linking, 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 linking. This is nice. So you can right click on this to say paste. So it's the same thing. So you say apply. Yeah, so it has given you that. So you can modify this and all that. What you see here, publish. You see, what we are doing here is the local loop, just with you there on your hard drive or as uh, solid state drive. So you just go to publish. It's asking you, this is nice. This is nice. This is where I like you to please note. Publish to the web. What will be the web address? So you have to put your name because that's the one you are going to the link you're going to send to us or to your vice chancellor or to your dean. So I'm going to put it Sonin first. Okay, book color uh, dash Peter dash uh, particles. I think this is number five. Five. That's all. It's going to check whether. <laughs> whether there is uh, any name like this uh, because go to call it this is the site https sites google.com view that that's what it's going to call it so this is the thing you must put 
uh, if you are uh, whatever the name is, put your surname, your first name, then practicals number five, and then hit publish. When you hit publish, you can see it's publishing, publishing. Your site has been published successfully. If you want to view it here, fine. So let's click on, oh no, it's gone. So anyway, you can also view it here. You can come here and say view published site. Yeah. So this is how the thing is going to look. Management dashboard. Data Coca management dashboard. Yeah, it's going to put that picture. I'm going to vary that picture in a minute for you to see how you can change everything. Yeah. Very nice. So dashboard. Hmm. So if I click on this, see what's going to happen. Yeah. So this is what your vice chancellor or the world will see. This wonderful dashboard. So that's it. It's as easy as this. Okay. Uh, let's get back to this. As I said, I'm going to tell you how you're going to change many of these things that are here. Project name, you can change it. Uh, anyway, this is not the editing mode. We go back to edit, editing mode, which is here. So, project name, we change this one to Big Bay Module 4 dashboard. I call it that so that stays there. Uh, you can change the image here, the picture here. You can see change image, change image. So you go to here, just click on here. Uh, ask where's the image? You want to upload an image from your computer. Let's let me look for let me look for an image. Yeah, so you can search for images, pictures, that's what we mean. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I took this by Zoom and Rock when, when we went for uh, the jam result. So I can use this one. So if I click on this, it will not change the it will change the picture that uh, we had there originally. Then let's change this one. This one. Let's see. You no. Know, uh, let's see. Upload image. Replace image. You can see. Replace image. I want to replace this image. Uh, upload so you can replace the images let me use this one that uh, we took a uh, group photo so you can see it has replaced this let's take this one sorry let's, let's take this one hmm. we'll come to the right here replace image upload uh, let me see if I can get another one yes let me take this one so, so you can replace the images here and you go on and on and on uh, of course you can change this edit the footer this is the footer you put your email id there email p okay, we'll call. sorry about my noisy keyboard you can put your address you can put your phone number just do all of that so when we have done this nothing is going to happen if you have not published it of course you can also change this can i do this logo let me see a uh, brand logo. Uh, you can put a favicon, which is the thing at the edge here. So you can do quite a lot of things here. Let me upload uh, an image. Let me look for Big Bay uh, logo. This one. Let me see what it's going to upload. It. Yes, that's fine. Good, good, good. So yeah, that's the logo there. That's this one. Favicon, I don't want the Favicon. Okay, I take this off. I upload the logo, which is this. Yeah, so that's it now. You can see it has it has put this logo there. This is very easy. So you you just edit this as you as you as you want it to be. But nothing has happened. You can change the project mission. Nothing has happened until you publish. So it gives you a draft, it gives you the currently published form. Uh, so you publish this. So you can see it has changed the whole thing. So looking so nice, I put, put my email ID and that's it. If you want to view it, you come to here, view publish site. That's what you're going to get as a view publish site. So it has changed project name, Big Bay. Uh, I thought I'd take this one.
project mission. So this is it. This is the this is the uh, URL or the web address that you are now going to send to us as the, the as the you then copy this. You then send uh, as as a mail. Let me see. Uh, that's not loading now. Let me do this. Uh, so you you paste this here. So this is the this is the website that you are going to send to us as a product of this exercise. Hey, how very nice. So to recap, uh, we did the link of the dashboard to our website in Google Sites. And the last thing we did was to publish a dashboard for the world to see. So how is the world seeing this one now? The world is seeing it uh, like this. So this is the site. If you if you now click on this, see what's going to happen. It's taking us to that site. So your dashboard is all set. So you click on this dashboard one, it takes you to the dashboard. One last thing, one last very important thing. So that's the thing. Okay, uh, the moment you change the data, let's even see it. Let's change the data for, uh, let's change it. Let, let's assume that you ask somebody to change the data of Christland University to about 2 million, something like that. Let's see what's going to happen to the dashboard. So let's refresh this. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, you can see it has changed it completely. It has changed this. It has changed the data of of uh, of uh, uh, the male female. Let, let's do something a little bit more dramatic. So let's put uh, female here, National Queen University. Let's say three, oh, 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 something like that. So uh, we say this, we go to our dashboard. Ah, you can see it has changed it. So when people are entering data from different places, it will be changing this uh, thing here. Oh, very wonderful. I've enjoyed myself, though. I wonder if you have. Uh, I'm sure you will also have enjoyed yourself. Oh, yes, that's the end of uh, the lesson. Let me now go out to buy myself some donut. I'm told that if I put on my big big heart, I will be, I'll be able to get some free donut. So until next time. It's bye from me, Peter Kubkola.